The integration of electronic warfare systems into the Australian Defence Force's Bushmaster Protected Mobility Vehicles under Project Land 555 Phase 6 marks a transformative step in modernising the Australian Army's capabilities within the electromagnetic spectrum. Launched with a 51.85 million USD, equivalent to 75 million Australian dollars contract awarded to Raytheon Australia in July 2023 in collaboration with US-based Pacific Defence, this initiative retrofits the Bushmaster, a battle-proven 4x4 armoured vehicle from Thales Australia with a cutting-edge EW suite. This suite, encompassing electronic attack, electronic protection, and electronic warfare support, adheres to the C4ISR or EW modular open suite of standards and sensor open systems architecture, ensuring a modular, interoperable platform capable of rapid technological refreshes. The physical integration process involves mounting wideband software-defined radios, jamming arrays, and signal detection equipment onto the Bushmaster's chassis, with upgraded power systems and operator interfaces seamlessly embedded to preserve the vehicle's hallmark mobility and survivability. Set for completion by Q4 2025, this project not only strengthens the ADF's land-based EW prowess, but also aligns it with the joint and coalition frameworks of the Five Eyes Alliance, amplifying its strategic relevance. The impact on ADF capabilities is multifaceted, elevating the Bushmaster from a personnel carrier to a dynamic, mobile EW hub that significantly enhances battlefield effectiveness. The electronic attack component, powered by SDRs and advanced jamming technologies, empowers the ADF to neutralize enemy radar, communications and navigation systems, disrupting adversary command and control with precision. This capability is particularly vital in countering the sophisticated electronic systems fielded by near-peer adversaries in the Indo-Pacific, such as China, whose military modernization includes robust electromagnetic warfare assets. The electronic protection features, including anti-jamming measures and electromagnetic hardening, shield ADF communications and sensors from hostile interference, ensuring operational continuity in contested environments, a necessity as electromagnetic threats grow more pervasive. Meanwhile, the electronic support tools provide real-time intelligence through signal interception and direction finding, enabling commanders to map enemy positions and intentions with greater accuracy. The addition of a dedicated command and control capability within the project further enhances this integration, allowing for synchronized EW effects across the battlefield, a critical advantage in joint operations with air and maritime forces. As Minister for Defense Industry Pat Conroy has noted, this upgrade equips the ADF to monitor and dominate the electronic environment, offering a versatile toolkit to deter, degrade, and deny threats to Australia's interests. Beyond the tactical sphere, the project delivers substantial industrial and economic benefits, injecting over $46 million into Australian industry and bolstering sovereign defence capabilities. Raytheon Australia, Thales, and local firms like SIPAC are deeply involved in supply, training, and sustainment, fostering a skilled workforce and aligning with sovereign industrial capability priorities. The Bushmaster's design, capable of withstanding small arms fire and blasts, ensures the EW suite operates from a survivable platform, while its mobility allows it to keep pace with mechanized units, unlike static or EW alternatives. This expeditionary flexibility, combined with interoperability with Five Eyes partners, positions the ADF as a key contributor to coalition efforts, particularly under the AUKUS framework, where technology sharing accelerates innovation. By late 2025, with full operational capability achieved, the ADF will wield a land-based EW asset that enhances deterrence and supports regional stability, reinforcing Australia's strategic posture in an increasingly contested region. Comparatively, the Bushmaster-mounted EW suite holds a distinct edge over regional competitors, though it faces formidable challenges. The Bushmaster's strength lies in its balance of protection, mobility, and future-proofing, making it uniquely suited to Australia's vast and varied operational needs. Its modularity ensures longevity, allowing software updates to address emerging threats without costly hardware overhauls, a contrast to China's more rigid approach.
However, its reliance on a single vehicle type could expose it to targeted countermeasures, and its smaller fleet size compared to China's vast resources may limit scalability in sustained conflicts. Against India and Japan, the Bushmaster's robustness and alliance interoperability provide a clear advantage, though South Korea's technological parity in SDRs poses a closer challenge. Operationally, the ADF benefits from exercises like Talisman Sabre, where the Bushmaster's EW integration has been tested alongside allies, refining its role in multi-domain scenarios. Strategically, this capability strengthens Australia's deterrence in the Indo-Pacific, where electromagnetic dominance is increasingly contested, and its coalition compatibility amplifies its value in joint operations. Culturally, the project reflects Australia's commitment to self-reliance and innovation, leveraging local industry to meet global standards. The Defence Science and Technology Group supports this effort with R&D into next-generation EW technologies, ensuring the Bushmaster suite remains at the cutting edge. Politically, it underscores the government's focus on regional security, as articulated by Minister Conroy, aligning defence investments with national interests. Overall, Project Land 555 Phase 6 positions the ADF as a leader in land-based EW within the region, offering a versatile, resilient capability that enhances both standalone and coalition operations, cementing Australia's role as a formidable player in the electromagnetic battle space.